All right. Um, item C, CVI proposal to purchase laptop computer attachment six. We've been talking, we've been in the process of updating computers, and this is, um, when we discussed it, it was computers to be used in, tra in um, classes? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, could I get a motion so, to so motion approve, approve yeah. the contract um, from CBI? So motion to approve the contract. I, I just have one question, but it's a silly question. Well, I assume once we get the motion yeah, gotcha. on the floor, okay. then we'll I motion, I motion we approve it. We need second. I second it. Okay. Not discussion. Twenty thousand. Thank you. Yeah. The question I have is, I assume that the discount that was supposed to go through July thirty first is still going to be good when we close the deal with them. They, 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 they say that the, the, the offers that they have here for pricing is only through July thirty first. Yes, that is correct. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, we okay. we've gone back and forth. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that's still good. <laughs> And you don't bid this out because it's a standard, it's a, it's a government contract, correct? In terms of government prices? <coughs> I'm sorry. You need to get a competitive bid because it's government. Only if it's over 20,000. Okay. Yeah, if it's over 20,000, that's why I asked them to come in under under 20. And there's. And it's a replacement. The thing is, this is like, um, this was. In a way, it's the second phase of our of our replacing of the desktops. Mm -hmm. They're different because they're laptops, but um, we felt that in uh, the teaching lab situation, that they knew best how to replace all the software and do the build and all that on our laptops. So we have a motion to approve the uh, CBI proposal to purchase purchase laptop computers. Um, any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Um, Madam Secretary, could you call the roll? Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin? Yes. Trustee Barshus? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Okay, the next item is the item located behind tab <coughs> 7, and that's Hill Mechanical to replace um, the uh, remove and replace a 12.5 pound carrier rooftop unit. Um, and we're going to do this again via crane, shut down, yeah. <coughs> shut down the street and yeah. bring a crane it's in. It's the only way. So we've way done this before. It. This is Heather's first time here, but yeah, but it's, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah we, we've done it before. This is Heather's first time experience. Yes, yes, yes. It works out great. It's yeah. actually like sort of interesting. Yeah. If you've little, got... Yeah. Um, Kids would love Kids it. Kids there. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's yeah. sort of a photo op. I went yeah. down there the first time. Yeah. And because... The last time we were... We were replacing a Multiple. 50 and a 20. Yeah. This is a 12 and a half, so this yeah. is a tiny <laughs> unit. <laughs> but they know. still have to get the crane out there and yeah. pick it up and swing it. That is and true. This isn't something you carry up the stuff. And they ladder. do it on a Sunday morning, I think, which is sort of the or Saturday or Sunday morning? Most likely on a Sunday, the permits. Basically, in this case, they could do it in one day because it's a small unit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's I write the crane licensing exams for the city, so I know what they have. Yeah, if you have kids, I recommend it. It's actually it's, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, and the guy who runs the crane, his name has to be Bob the Builder, right? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, yes, I did, it, I did ask the question of why it wasn't replaced in the last, um, yes, pro, right. uh, in the construction project, the HVAC project, <coughs> and the response from FQC was. Um, it was identified in the original capital assessment report, which was in 2013, as having up to a five-year life expectancy. As a result, it was not included as one of the highest priority items in the overall HVAC upgrade project. Mm -hmm. However, it was discussed during the course of construction as a potential add to the scope of work. It was decided at that time to defer replacement until needed as the course of construction had gone on long enough and it was time to be done with construction. <laughs> so that's... why. Okay. Well, we also, just as a matter of the record, the we added roofing projects to that construction that were about two hundred thousand dollars. So we were, you know, we were at a pretty close. We were at a point of trying to get everything finished, and this would have extended the project 
um, it's not any more expensive to do it now than it would have been then. Mm -hmm. About a couple really? of years. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah three right. years. And that was kind of the discussion a couple of years ago was that right. we, we'd, buy, yeah, we'd be buying a couple yeah. years to wait. Now, so. all the exclusions and clarifications, are these things that need to be done by other people that are on that list? New roof curves, roofing repairs, wiring, rewiring? Oh, correct. Yeah. If yes. So there will be another. Well, one. except it would be Hill because they do a lot of. Well, Hill will bring in well. the trades that are required for that work. Right. Okay. But that's going to be extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if it's not too much work, uh, it is for kids like this stuff. So if you can Sell make an announcement and let people know. <laughs> I would be hesitant to do that generally because it's actually dangerous. Um, I mean, yeah, they buy, works. you know. I think you would, but I don't think we yeah. want to track a crowd. Sure. I mean, you, although, in fact, you'll get a small one. Sure. Because just by virtue of when you bring right. that crane right. in. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and it's just. It was cool to watch. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> the pay is not great, but the perks are amazing. It's, <laughs> it's also the a. The perks of this job are amazing. <laughs> a very, I mean, if you show up the moment the crane does, you'll be waiting for a few hours before they have everything ready. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's still pretty it cool. just right, huh? <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Bring a lunch, yeah. So we have a motion. Did, did we get a motion? No. Not yet, no. But, oh, no, we did no. not get a motion. I motion approval okay. of the Hill proposal for replacement of the uh, carrier rooftop unit, uh, not to exceed $20,000. Second. All right. Um, Jan, call the roll on Trustee that, Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. And Trustee O'Laughlin. Yes. Trustee Barshes. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Hi. Okay. Um, Central Rug and Flooring. Huh. Um, I love this. This is my favorite. Yeah. 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 Razzle dazzle. What's the, what's the razzle dazzle? Yeah. <laughs> what's um, that's the, what it's called. All oh. this. this uh, no, it's not this pattern. It's the one with On the, the circle. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's called razzle dazzle. That's so funny. Yeah. And I, I, I think you may. I, I certainly recall that when he put the, you know, the pattern in, it's sort of done in these sections so you can, in fact, pull them up and replace. Right. That's, that's, yeah. the, it was always the anticipation. The spot is, describe again where it's being replaced. Well, it's multiple areas. The biggest is the hallways, like right by the stairwell. Oh. Um, if you look, and we had the carpet cleaned and then it became quite obvious where the wear was. Mm -hmm. uh, it is in, you know, the main highway on the first floor from the circ desk all the way back to the elevators, that whole area, as well as the second floor by children's also that hallway area, oh, yeah. um, the shelving um, area, and the um, media room. Those mm -hmm. are the, the high traffic areas. And when was, was this all installed? When? A couple this years? This is our first renovation. 2010. Like, 2010. For some, well, not like the second floor. I don't know. The second floor was a little newer, I think. No, actually, it was all the same time. Oh, well, oh okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it, it's okay. It, yeah. it was, and we decided, we also talked about this before, we wanted to wait till after the construction was done because we knew right. that that would add extra wear and tear to what the wear and tear that was already mm -hmm. sustained. Right. Um, the only thing we did not put on here was the auditorium, mm -hmm. which really does need new carpeting as well as the, the whole lower level. Um, the lower level stack area is the oldest carpet and that's going to need to be replaced. The problem with that of course is uh -huh. <laughs> there's asbestos underneath in the tiles mm. and also um, oh they cut the carpet so you can't just move the shelves like right. they just cut around it. So it's a complicated project and an expensive one. So I, that's not included in this, um, but it is something to be thinking about moving ahead as, as we talk about our capital needs. Yeah. Um, the other issue is the auditorium, which it's in, yeah, bad shape because you, there, there was a lot of construction materials that were put in there during mm -hmm. the renovation. Um, I figured it would be best to wait with the full lower level until we have a better space plan for the lower level so we can do mm -hmm. it all at once. Mm -hmm. Now, so. if, if, do they, 
when they pull the carpet up, is that going to disturb the tiles? Probably. That's I, not a good thing. Right. Nobody yeah. knows for sure. The problem is that it's glued down onto the tile. Right. Yeah. So probably. Mm. We've had asbestos abatement mm -hmm. issues, and as opposed to... You know, I think the concern when people first realized this was an issue, you know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. in general, you get a contractor in who deals with this, and it's never, and it's not as expensive or as difficult as they've gained experience on how these do things. Yes, it has to be remediated, but don't consider, oh my goodness, this is like... <coughs> You know, a very expensive, <coughs> very difficult. There are mm -hmm. professionals who know how to do it's this. It's a pretty so sizable the time, area. It's a big area, so I don't yeah. think you can assess it to leave some. Right, comes. but I just don't yeah. get to expect. We're not. How, how long do you? I mean, this not the, How long will they keep the? Will that keep the, that floor inaccessible though? While they're you know, yeah. no and idea. It's going you to mean be, for this? Yeah, no, no, for the if we do the basement, I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh, I, that's I, a big yeah. I, have, I have no <laughs> idea. For this one, how long is it? When is it going to be done? In terms of how long does it have to be shut down? That's a good question. Um, some of the areas we can just block off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of them, like the smaller patch work that's done, mm -hmm. I would, um, and I'm trying to think. Rick, do you have a good sense of that? Of they would just start early in the morning and, and work on the areas where most of the traffic is before we even open yeah. up. Yeah. So and I don't, yeah, I don't think we'll have to close for it. Okay. No, no, no. We're not. We never close. Yeah. Yeah. And you can Is walk there in. some additional cost anticipated? Is that the reason why there's no total price shown? Well, the question is, do we want to add in the auditorium or not? I mean, oh. we could. It would put it over the 20000 so we'd need to put it out to bid for one. For another, I'm thinking we might want to wait with the auditorium until we make decisions about the rest What's of that lower yeah, level right. area. This $1,875 item for puts it over matting already puts it over 20. Oh, it does. That well, that's in the vestibule. Yeah, that's okay. But what is it? What What's the? That's up by the front door. It's in the vestibule. Is that something that ought to be incorporated into this contract? No. Um, I think we could wait with that. Those are not as old. Those are the the newer. I mean, Those they're still do need sharing. Those replay, be replaced from time to time just because the, that's the busiest. winter, that's yeah. basically your high traffic yeah. entrance right. area. Yeah. But the question is, is it in this bid because it's in bad shape or is it something that they're looking ahead to? That is just, just going to be needed at some point. Yeah, they. This is. It's in this bid because we asked them to assess all the carpeting needs. Okay. And they looked at that area and said, "Yeah, this is starting to wear, but it's not the highest priority compared mm -hmm. to the other areas." That was my sense. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. I was Are there any other charges? based on their little caveat in terms of what they're not responsible for that they <laughs> anticipate with that. Well, I got the impression from Mark, he said that they're going to do it. The, no, the 19.5. What do you mean? No, Central Rug is. Central Rug is going to do okay, it. Okay, so they're going to do it. Okay. Right, so, so I'll I move a motion approval of, of the Central Rug and Flooring bid not to exceed 20000 Can I get a second for that? Mm -hmm. A second. All in favor? Aye. Oh, uh, no, no, we're going to vote. Roll call. Oh, right. Roll call. Yeah. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin? Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee Barshas? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Okay. Um, item F. A levy. This is a change, as I understand it, in some of the language. This is a draft and will continue to be so. Um, okay. I've spoken with Barb and um, Ron and I spoke earlier. Um, it will change again <laughs> uh, because there's still a lot that we don't know based upon the audit. So I'm rec I recommend that you um, take this as a draft and recognize that we probably should talk about this in more depth at the October meeting because that's when we'll have um, a more clear idea of the final levy number that makes the most sense after that. But we should adopt the proposed levy at this time? You don't need to. I would not. I mean, 
Ron, what do you think on this? Well, we, I would suggest that what we consider, um, we can amend the levy amount after we have the audit results. And we'll have those. Their, their, their intent is to complete the audit in, this, in September. So by October, we should have a much sharper image of what the audit shows. And we can evaluate the levy amount um, consistent with the intent of the board to reduce the levy. Um, I should also note that when I looked at my real estate tax bill, the library share of the levy for the taxes I just paid was down um, from last year by about $60. Um, so it's consistent with what the board decided in May for us to once we have the audit to adjust the levy.